Hello everyone, I'm Cody with Industrial Injection. We're making a video today. Uh, you know, throughout the years, evolution has been kind of cool and awesome and crazy at times. Uh, today we're going to go through kind of a, an evolution on uh, pickup trucks. You know, applications we're all familiar with. So I'll dive into it, we'll jump into it. Kind of cool, back in the early days, uh, you know, there are some earlier applications, uh, but these are the kind of ones we're hitting on. They're kind of popular and known in the market. The uh, first one we're going to start with is a 7.3 IDI injector. Kind of a cool, innovative product at the time. Um, and uh, there's also a Chevy application. This is the Ford IDI. Um, these are kind of your 19, you know, mid to early 80s all the way up through uh, you know, 93. Um, so yeah, this is a 7.3. You'll notice they're threaded. They thread right into the heads. Uh, they have a a different looking nozzle from what maybe we're used to in the market today. You can look at the very tip, you know, they're kind of hard to see, they're small, but it has a, a panel type nozzle, so there's a little stem sticking out of the tip of the nozzle on both of these injectors. If you look really close, it's just not a needle sticking out. It's actually shaped, so when the nozzle activates and, and opens up from hydraulic fuel pressure, well, there's a cone shape at the very tip of the nozzle, so it injects to kind of a pattern. But yeah, these are the indirect uh, style injectors, kind of an earlier evolution of a pickup truck. Uh, so the next evolution would be a second gen. Uh, and then we're looking at a Dodge application right here. So you got kind of the earlier model, the second gen uh, injector from Bosch. And it comes with a nine millimeter tip. So you can kind of see a difference. Um, there's a nine millimeter versus a seven millimeter. Why is that? It's because Cummins uh, had a they did earlier applications, they, they drilled the heads out for a nine millimeter nozzle. Well, they had some problems with some you know cracking of the head right at the nine millimeter floor, so they went to an updated seven millimeter version. Um, so you know if you have a 91 to or an 88 to 91 application, no worries. Uh, if you're if your ship is seven millimeter nozzle, it's probably the application you need or want. Uh, the only thing you have to do is get a seven millimeter sleeve to fill the two millimeter void uh, in your head. If you have a seven millimeter head or an updated seven millimeter head, if the head was replaced, most likely you'll need a seven millimeter nozzle. Uh, going into the next evolution would be a 24 valve. Uh, this, this is ran with like DT44 style field injection pumps. Uh, the evolution of these is, you know, they actually, you know, more valves than the cylinder or the cylinder head uh, we're able to install this directly on top of the piston um, kind of a cool application uh, it's a little more um, quick to fire um, they come with a VCO nozzle uh, some people like VCO some people don't um, but the evolution they went to a VCO nozzle uh, the next evolution will be a Ford Huey injector, hydraulic electronic unit injector. In its own way, it was very innovative at the time. Um, applications are used in some Caterpillar applications and Avastar. But on the Fords, uh, you know, you can notice that it has a big solenoid on top. It's an electronic a unit injector, meaning electronic that activates the injector lifting the oil valve plate. The oil pressure overcomes the fuel pressure, moves the piston, and activates the fuel side of the nozzle, which again injects through a whole style nozzle, an updated full style nozzle. Okay, from the, the Huey injector, they evolved into a common rail injector, which is a high pressure 1600 bar system. It was introduced in Chevy in 2001. Um, it was all, also introduced the same style Crenn 1 injector in, in the Dodge in 2003. Um, kind of what they did is, uh, you know, with a common rail high pressure, you know, 1600 bar system, they're supplying it with high pressure fuel. You can see each one of these injectors has a solenoid on top. The solenoid activates a control plunger, and that allows the, the nozzle to lift and inject fuel. Both of these have a BCO style nozzle on them. Um, you know, the Chevy has a 9 millimeter tip, and the Dodge has a 7 millimeter tip. Very cool, very innovative. They went to a common rail so they can inject quicker fuel and multi-fuel injection vents for you know more horsepower, efficiency, and uh, better emissions. Um, they, you know this is the same style injector, uh, virtually 
they went to a different style of control plunger internally and a different solenoid. This actually uh, injects quicker than the first generation common rail through some of the mechanical parts and the electronic solenoid. They also went to a uh, sex style nozzle. Uh, sex style nozzles were induced into you know, your 2000 uh, four and a half Chevys, and then in, again in the Dodges, 2007 and a half, 6.7. And sex style models were introduced when they put the emission control system, um, your particular filter, to catch some of this extra fuel, you know, for higher horsepower applications. Um, Dodge went to this uh, six seven style, uh, Crin three style injector, uh, six point seven liter, and. Uh, it's really kind of used all the way up to you know, 2021 applications, and again, probably in 2022. Um, this injector injects, once again, it's still electron, uh, electronic solenoid activated, but the internal parts allow this thing to be way more uh, efficient and react a lot faster. Once again, sac style models. The latest progression of diesel engines went to a piezo style injector, they're kind of a thinner, lighter weight has the piezo crystal solenoid. The reason why they did this is they went to like a, a higher bar system, like an 1800 bar system, to where once again, more pressure, uh, the solenoid reacts a lot faster with the piezo technology. And uh, you know, using the SAC style nozzle, they're able to have multiple fuel, eject, fuel injection events and uh, the efficiency and the, and the capabilities of the piezo are, are awesome. Uh, once again, higher horsepower. Uh, the next evolution of not only horsepower, but emission control. Uh, so there you have it. I hope you like this video. Uh, just a quick version of evolution. You know, as market evolves, industrial injection evolves, we're trained and we work on these products every day. We're, we're factory trained on all of these. Uh, we can only build them. Uh, we can test these, offer new OE applications for the consumers. So if you like this video, make sure to click the link, give us a thumbs up. Uh, you can go to our website, www.industrialobjection.com. Um, until the next evolution, we thank you for watching.